Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toyscapades channel. Today, I'm looking at a comparison between the 1985 mask Jackhammer Ford Bronco and the 2009 G.I. Joe Steel Crusher Hummer, which has largely been regarded as a modern day update of the Jackhammer. So in this video, I'll be checking out the similarities between both of these vehicles. Join me. Okay, first up, let's check out the Jackhammer. The vehicle is based on a rugged and muscular black Ford Bronco. The entire front grille is a solid chunk of chrome. Thankfully, this unit has its chrome in good shape, otherwise it's going to look like a set of rotting teeth. Now the Jackhammer has an almost uniform black colour all around, but the clear plastic windows and orange interiors do provide a contrast. The wheels are made entirely of rubber like all great toy vehicles of the 1980s and this sure does help in rolling it about smoothly. Sorry, I still can't stop rolling it about. Okay, so the jackhammer is driven by Venom agent Cliff Dagger. On the TV show, he was portrayed as a dim-witted buffoon. In fact, if there was something stupid that needed saying, Cliff here would say it. Also, he has a pirate eye patch on, so he must be really evil. Cliff Dagger wears the torch mask, which is able to generate streaks of flames that shoot out towards the enemy. I guess you could say that this guy's head is literally on fire. Okay, so now let's check out the vehicle transformation. Pushing up the front hood creates an armored shield for the vehicle. And pushing down on the front grille reveals two machine guns that move in and out as you move the vehicle. This still looks so cool even 30 years later. So pressing on the back bumper causes the rear compartment of the vehicle to rise up and create a machine gun turret. The back of the turret can be extended out to reveal a new set of guns and a seat for a gunner. So you see that small machine gun that I just fished out? This accessory is actually the rarest part of the vehicle as almost all loose units of the jackhammer sold on the secondary market typically have them missing. Since the jackhammer only came with one figure, I always wondered who would drive the vehicle when Cliff Dagger was seated at the turret and blasting away. I guess in the 80s though, we were used to the idea of autopiloted vehicles. I mean, both Knight Rider and Airwolf were the top shows on TV at the time. Now when I was growing up, I could never own the Jackhammer, but I was lucky enough to have that one rich friend who did. I guess we all had a friend like that when we were growing up. So I remember many afternoons spent playing at his place with this thing and loads of other mass toys. And you know what? Three decades later, it still gives me the same sense of excitement and joy to be handling the jackhammer. Well, you guys know what I mean, right? Okay, so to transform this thing back to vehicle mode, just reverse all the steps and before you know it, it's back to an ordinary looking Ford Bronco with no way of anyone suspecting that it's secretly a rolling tank of doom. Okay, now it's time to check out the 2009 G.I. Joe Steel Crusher APV or All-Purpose Vehicle. 
Now this was released as part of the line of toys for the first G.I. Joe live action movie. You know, the one with Channing Tatum and the super hot Baroness. Similar to the Jackhammer, the Steel Crusher is almost solid black in colour and has a really aggressive and muscular design. Only instead of a Ford Bronco, it's a Hummer. Although it's a modern toy, it features rubber tyres instead of lame plastic ones. And it's also great that the toy proudly features the Hummer brand name on the front and back. So just like the Jackhammer, the Steel Crusher has hidden combat abilities. Sliding the top hood of the vehicle causes the rear gun turret to pop out. The turret is rotatable and comes with three projectile missiles that fire. As you can see, the missiles fire a pretty good range. Now flipping down the top section of the sliding hood creates an armoured shield for the front of the vehicle something the jackhammer has as well. Now the sides of the steel crusher has secret compartments that can be opened to reveal weapon rockets. Anytime you have hidden weapons in secret compartments, you know it's a mask thing. So the Steel Crusher came packaged with a Cobra figure called a Nitro Wiper. I couldn't find the actual figure for this review, but here's a picture of it. It's interesting that they are called Nitro Wipers because Nitro refers to an unstable compound that can be explosive. Meaning to say that these guys like to play with fire, something that Jackhammer driver Cliff Dagger likes to do as well, especially with his torch mask. Now just a year prior to the release of this Steel Crusher vehicle, the Mars team and franchise were officially integrated into the G.I. Joe universe, courtesy of this figure of Mars leader Matt Tracker that was produced as part of a range of G.I. Joe toys. The figure featured a backstory that mentioned that the Mars team were now a supporting group of G.I. Joe and were tasked to take down the menace of Cobra Splinter Group Venom. Although the concept was never explored further, the Steel Crusher is one possible example of an updated mass vehicle for today's modern generation. So that's my look at the Mars Jackhammer and the G.I. Joe Steel Crusher. Let me know what you thought of this video and do subscribe to the Retro Toy Escapades channel for more fun and awesome toy content. Thank you and I'll catch you guys again soon.